Okay, we've already spoken about one of the benefits of Xero being that you can have more than one user. More than one person can have access to your Xero account and also access to your Xero account at the same time if required. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how you set up and how you amend users for your Xero account. You will be a user yourself. You might have other people in your organization that you want to be as users. You might have an accountant or a bookkeeper that will sign in as a user as well. Let's head into Xero and I'll show you how you set these up. Okay, from the dashboard, we're going to settings, general settings, and then we're going to go to users. Now, any users that are set up will be listed here. If you want to make any changes, click on the three dots and then you can say change permissions. And that's where you would make amendments. But let's go back and let's look at adding a user. We simply go to the green invite a user. So you fill in a name. You would fill in an email address and then you tick what you want your user to have access to. So if you're using Zero Project, you would tick that box and then it would ask you the level of access that your user needs. If you're using payroll, you tick this box if you need full access to payroll admin for your user. If we don't need it, we can untick that. All we're interested in at this stage is talking about the accounting, business and accounting access. So we tick that and then it says how much access do you want this user to have? Let's look at read only. Read only is great to give to somebody who you want to look at your account but you don't want them to make any changes. So you can see that all they have is read only access. You can't tick anything here, it's all greyed out. Then what other kind of access can you have? So if somebody's not doing much in your zero account but they do need access, there's the invoice only. And you really need to spend some time understanding what access you want to give a user and what access they can have in Xero. Xero have made a lot of changes in this recently because a lot of people were not happy with the user permissions. So they've done a lot of work on it. Hopefully it's more suitable for users. So what you want to do is you want to look and see sales and purchases. What do I want my user to do? If you're unsure, my suggestion is that you give them the minimum access to begin with and then only add to it as is required. Again, if you scroll down and see anything greyed out, it means that's not available to tick. So if you said somebody has invoice only access, clearly they're not going to have access to bank accounts, to reports, settings and to manage users. Standard user will have access to most of the standard things in your zero account, so sales and purchases and bank accounts. Then you can see, can they run reports? You can tick or untick that. An advisor is the highest level of access that you would give somebody. And then you would just change if they can edit bank account details. So that's available. And also you can change if they can manage users. Can they add users to the account? Can they make changes to users? So you do need to spend a bit of time trying to understand user roles. And you can click on this blue here, understand user roles. And that takes you into document from zero that tries to explain what the user roles are. It will take you a bit of time to make sense of them. So we've selected what we want. We'll say we only want invoice only and we only want a new user to create drafts. So we filled in their details. There would be an email address filled in there. We've ticked the box. We scroll down to the bottom and then we can go straight to green send invite or you can add a personal message. We choose add a personal message there's a standard message there and you can reword it as you see fit. And then when you're happy with it, you just select send invite. Just to mention here, I do tend to change this word and I'm not that keen on the word in that Zero gives us. So I like to personalize it, make it a bit more suitable. Change it as you think fit and then send invite. And that's it, that's a new user added. Okay, I see a new user added, but the user will have to accept and create a password before they have access to the Xero account. As always, if you like my videos, please let me know that you like them. 
And why don't you subscribe to the channel so you get notified when new videos are uploaded each week. Until next time, happy zeroing.